If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Normally when I try to remember things, I uh, try to file it away behind some kind of trigger that will remind me of the whole story, and it normally works. And so when Karen told me earlier that there would be a lot of, of, of reads in, uh, for James Mass today, um, I filed it away, and then I walked in and I saw that there's about triple the normal people that are here. I said, ah, now I remember. And so we do gather uh, this morning, memorial of St. Margaret Mary Alakek, uh, that we kind of thank for the devotion to the Sacred Heart, its early beginnings. So as we gather together today to celebrate the sacred Eucharist, we first recognize our own sinfulness and we turn to God and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accordance with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intentions of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also have heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exalt your just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on a harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, 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 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May your kindness, Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light. What you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. To really understand the Sacred Heart in its uh, earliest uh, beginnings, we have to get a little historic and a little nerdy about it. Uh, In France, there was a movement called the Jansenists, and they were strict, strict rigorists in terms of morality. But part of the problem was uh, they kind of were following an idea of double predestination, where some are bound to go to heaven, which is true, and some are destined to go to hell which is not true. Everyone is destined to go to heaven. We have a free choice to say no to the plan that will lead there, and that leads to Gehenna. But they were these strict, strict, strict rigorous and and constantly watching out for the tiniest infraction of a law with each other. They really did believe, they were kind of dualists, they believed that the flesh, this matter, this body was bad and that the spirit had to control it. So what the vision of the Sacred Heart has for us that St. Margaret Mary saw, um, Mary Margaret, what she saw was um, this idea that Jesus had a physical human heart, that Jesus felt, that Jesus had emotions, that Jesus was sad, that Jesus cried, that Jesus went through these, all these different emotions and they well up from his truly human heart. And not that there is just this divine spiritual emptiness within him. And that this heart is the source of mercy because it is the source of feeling. And so it is a heart that can understand what we are going through. It can a heart that understands when we remember sadness. It is a heart that can feel joy with us when we celebrate. It is a heart that can calm us when we are anxious. It is a heart that stands by us and listens when we are angry. And so the image not only of the Sacred Heart is this distant one of Jesus, it is a close one, that we are welcome into the very heart of Jesus, that we can find comfort in there and shelter from the storm. And so whatever feelings you are going through, whatever emotions you're going through, never believe that God is some distant, immovable creator. Never believe that God is one that just watches and does not care. But that because of the sacred heart, there is a real, true, human beating heart in heaven that feels with us, that cares for us, that cries with us, and eventually attracts all to come and live with him forever. For members of the church throughout the world, May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations and all those in authority, 
May God grant them fortitude in governing wisely, with justice and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are afraid, may God give them peace in the knowledge of his love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may the love of Christ enfold us and strengthen our confidence and belief in his forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially our brother James Reed, the intention of this Mass, may they be embraced by the love of Jesus and rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Good, gracious God, we know that we should not be afraid. Hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. For any of our visitors at the We'll be distributing the Sacred Eucharist at the front for those that are Catholic and in a state of grace at this time to be able to receive. If you are not going to receive, you may either approach and cross your arms over your chest to receive a blessing, or you may stay in your pew. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is.
For any of those unable to physically receive the Eucharist, you can still receive the fullness of the graces of the Blessed Sacrament by making a spiritual communion. To make yours, please repeat after me this prayer by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.